Do you know there's several ties between Aiken and the Titanic? Here's one of them. Wealthy man named Bill Carter lives in Philadelphia, but he also owns this house here on Hain Avenue, and they'd sometimes spend the winter here. So, when the Titanic takes off, he, his family, his servants, and even his car are on board. On the night where the boat hit the iceberg, he's having cigars with the captain. He goes to his cabin, gets his wife and kids up, gets them out, and they get on the first life raft. Throughout the night, he helps other passengers get on life rafts as well. So it comes down where there's one boat left. Women and children are on it. He looks around and says, feet, don't fail me now. And he gets in the life raft as well. His boat is actually one of the first ones picked up by the rescue boat. He gets off and gets changed. His wife finally arrives. And when she sees him, he comes out and says, I just had a bloody good breakfast. What took you so long? Well, needless to say, the fact that he got in on the life rafts ostracized him from society. He actually became known as Titanic Bill. And actually, two years later, his wife filed for his divorce, claiming the fact that he left her by herself on the life raft as the reason for the divorce. So, what's the moral of the story? He should have taken Carnival. It's a fun show. I love it. Lido Deck, Pina Coladas, come on. So, a little history about Aiken, Titanic and Aiken. I'm Brian Katana, Remax Tattersall, and that's what's shaking.